Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about my Ruger 1022. Do I think it's the ideal rifle in a bug out situation? Stick around and find out. So let's talk about my Ruger 1022. But first, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, feel free to leave a comment. And also hit that notification bell, that way you get notified whenever I release new content. So the Ruger 1022. This rifle's been in production since 1964. It's 37 inches long with an 18 and a half inch barrel. With the synthetic stock, it comes in at 4.4 pounds. With the walnut stock, it comes in about five pounds. The base model comes with these uh, flip-up, they're essentially backup sights. It also comes with this rail, which I mounted on it just before I filmed the range footage for this video earlier today. And I did throw my TRS-25 on top of it, which doesn't really do this rifle justice. It's a uh, one MOA red dot, and this rifle is definitely capable of much, much more. And you'll see that I struggle a little bit with accuracy during the range footage. It comes with two rotary box magazines, but there are plenty of aftermarket magazines as well as millions of accessories that are available for this rifle. This happens to be a 25 rounder. And do I think this is ideal for a bug out type situation? Absolutely. You can take all different size game with this rifle and the ammunition for it is not only readily available, it's extremely inexpensive. And you can fit about 3,500 rounds in these 50 caliber ammo cans. So, yes, this is a great bug out gun. So, without any further ado, let's go look at that range footage. Alright, so here we are at the club. I got the optic mounted on top there and I zeroed her in. So, today I'm going to take some shots with some Federal 40 grain lead round nose and some shots with some lead round nose standard velocity CCI. What I'm gonna do to start is take three shots with the CCI, then there's three shots of the Federal underneath it on the left target to see how accurate I can be. Then I'm just gonna dump 10 rounds of each ammo on the right magazine. So you get a round count of 20 on the right target. Um, see how fast, I, how accurate and fast I can be at 50 yards with uh, each type of ammunition. See if there's any impact differences, yada, yada, yada. So let me put the camera down range so you can see the impacts. Uh, let's get this started. Alright, so here we are at the 100 yard range. Uh, it's still kind of windy out here. Same deal as the 50 yard range. I'm going to put three of CCI first, then three of Federal, both 40 grain round nose lead on the left target to see how accurate I can be. Then I'm going to dump 10 of each round on the right target to see if I can keep them within this 8 inch circle, which is a sticky target. So I'm going to reuse the targets from the 50 yard range and uh, lay, over, lay over the shots with these. And if you're a good enough shot, you can do that. And then uh, these splatter bursts are great. You get them on Amazon. Just peel them right off. Plus they have the, uh, the shot dots as well to cover up your previous shots. So at 100 yards in the wind, if I can keep all my shots within this circle, then I'll be very happy. Usually I'm aiming for a nine inch circle at 100 yards for hunting big, big game like white-tailed deer. And with the 22 LR, if you're, if you're forced to hunt whitetail with it, you kind of want to land a few shots fast as you can within that area to make sure the deer goes down. Not that I've ever done it. That's just what I've heard. So let me go hang these targets. I'll put the camera down range again. 
Bear with me. Okay, so here they are, the first three shots with the CCI. I'm sure you saw it on camera where they fell. The second three shots with the Federal, I was able to keep them all on this eight inch target with the wind and all. The first 10 shots, I forgot that I was holding for 100 yards. I have that red dot sighted in at 50 yards, so they fell a little bit low. The second uh, 10 shots, I was like, oh shit, I forgot, I'm at 100 yards. So they all fell within the eight inch circle, rapid fire, which I'm very happy about. So uh, let's move back over to the 50 yard range and shoot some clay pigeons up in the berm. All right, so in conclusion, this is the first rifle I'm grabbing out of my cabinet in a bug out type situation. It's a very handy little rifle, especially with the red dot up top there. You got the backup sights. The 22 long rifle round is readily available. It's inexpensive, it's light, so you can bug out with just one ammo can, 3,000 rounds. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is the Gun Toting Pacifist. Stay active, stay alert, and stay armed. Let me see if I can finish off those pigeons. I didn't realize how hot it was going to be to pick up the pigeon with a red dot.